Hi everyone, it's Christine here and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you were here with me today and I am going to share part one of a four part series here on YouTube that I am doing uh, with where I will share four different Christmas themed junk journals. So this is number one and I'm calling this one Joy simply because I have the Joy to the World little Tim Holtz plate there on the cover. Each journal has a different fabric swatch on the cover as the main focal point of the cover. These were purchased, um, I got them at an Etsy shop and I will link that below for you in the description box of this video. Uh, I just thought that they were gorgeous and fashionable and wonderful so um, I went ahead and just made a journal series out of them. So I have four Christmas junk journals to share and like I said I'm doing each one in its own video because all four of them are going to be for sale on my Etsy shop. All four of these journals are also design team projects for Mrs. Cog's Crafts. Um, and aside from the, uh, the main image here, which is fabric, and about four images in each journal that I just found uh, myself, all of the other images that you see throughout all four of the journals are from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. They are all from her digital images, and you are going to fall in love with them, I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and let you know all the different um, sets that I use from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. And I'll also have a link to each of them below in the description box of this video. But I use Toys and Christmas, which are illustrations by Jesse Wilcox Smith. I used an old fashioned family Christmas, Christmas memories, Christmas ads from 1909, window shopping, furry friends at Christmas, adorable Christmas, and Christmas beauties. So those are all the different sets, and again, I will have direct links to each set below. I will also have a link to a um, big package that she has available of a bunch of different Christmas sets. Several of the sets I just listed are in there if you're interested, but again, I will link each set individually as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this journal. All four of the journals uh, are soft covered this time, uh, junk journals. They are covered in fabric. And again, this focal image is fabric as well. I have backed it on some red sparkly tulle, which you can see it kind of peeking out there of the back, and then placed that on canvas as well. I have some beautiful trims uh, throughout the journal as well as on the cover and some ribbons. These snowflakes, and I don't have good lighting. It gets dark so early now, so I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show this. But I've actually, these were just wood embellishments that I painted with a very beautiful sort of um, almost champagne color uh, uh, paint from Stampin' Up. And so they actually, in real life, all of four of these snowflakes have beautiful shimmer to them. But again, I just I just cannot get the, uh, the camera to pick that up. I'm sorry about that. Um, but again, in real life, they're just a little sparkly and, and, and uh, have a slight hue to them from the paint. I added a couple buttons. On the side here, I have this beautiful tassel that is made up of various ribbons, um, from just random pieces of ribbon from my collection, various laces, uh, and some eyelash trim in different colors as well. I also have a charm here on the uh, the spine here on this tassel, and it says, May the spirit of Christmas be magical and its hopes brighter. And that is a Tim Holtz pendant. So I just attached that with a little jump ring here to this. And then the whole uh, tassel is attached to the spine using a Tim Holtz bulldog clip. And it is removable. So you could actually actually take the tassel off um, if it was just sort of impeding with your ability to journal inside the book or you wanted to place it on another craft project or whatever uh, you can obviously very easily remove that tassel and then put it right back if you wish. I have a little few tassels coming out here of the top from my tags which we'll see when we get inside the journal. Uh, so this is the spine without the tassel and then this is the back. So as you can see this lace trim here just goes all the way around uh, the bottom of the journal and then the back is just beautiful fabric. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the inside of the journal. I have created a beautiful sari silk closure here with some gorgeous bright deep red. I think it's called sari silk. Look how luxurious that is. It's so pretty. I just love that sari silk. So I will link for you below in the description box of this video where I get my sari silk on Etsy. It's Victorian Gypsy Girl is the name of the shop, but again, I will have a link below on, uh, in the description box. It's a wonderful shop and I get all my sari silk from her. 
So all you have to do is just go ahead and untie this. And now I want to bring this back up just quickly before I sit down so I can show you some of the beadwork that I did. Now this is the thickest of the four journals. This one's kind of a little bit of a monster, but still very functional as a journal, which I'll show you when we sit down and get into the inside. But I have used, this is definitely the most froofy and frilly and thick of all of the four Christmas journals that I have made. So if that's something that you're interested in, you might want to pick this one up. The others are not quite as foo-foo. <laughs> um, I love them all, but um, this one I just went a little overboard. I couldn't stop playing with the beautiful textiles and laces and trims and stuff. So this one is um, probably my favorite. It's a little hard to part with it, but I am going to uh, sell it to go to a new home. So as I always do in my journals, if you've been a visitor of my channel before, you know I love to adhere some of my images with just some regular paper clips. And I just do some bead work here uh, and attach these to the paper clips. They just add a little bit of fun to the journal. And and they also let you add some color and some festive beadwork as well. So I just wanted to quickly show you that. And then I have some on the sides as well as some charms. So I have a little bell charm here on this owl clip. And then up here I have a couple coilless safety pins where I've just put uh, some beadwork. I have a jingle bell here, which actually if you can hear that, does jingle. And uh, then just a few more uh, pretty bead bead. Uh, pretty beadwork, I should say, um, throughout the rest of the of the tabs here. I like this one with the pretty uh, Christmas candy bead there. And then some smaller beads. Here's a pretty snowflake charm here attached to that coilless safety pin. And I think I had one more charm somewhere, but we'll get to it when, oh, there it is. It's a little candy cane charm on this owl clip right here. So let me bring this up so you guys can see this really quick. I always kind of like to showcase these because when I go to sit down and go into the, the journal itself, it can be hard to see the details because I have to obviously be a little further away uh, in order for the entire journal to fit on the camera. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh, inside the journal and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. Uh, because I have used Sorry Silk, um, Sorry Silk does shed for a little bit. And I've tried to pull all the little extra floofies off of the sari silk, but it will come back. And that is normal for a little while, for a couple weeks usually. Um, and then after you've used the journal for a couple weeks, that shedding will stop. So don't be alarmed uh, if you purchase the journal and see that, you know, the sari silk is shedding. That's perfectly normal. Okay, so as you can see, while this is big and bulky, it closes up nice and tight with this double sari silk ribbon. Okay, so it does close nice and tidy for you. Even though it's soft back, it does lay flat as well, okay? And I will always include with uh, the purchase of my journals various um, sizes of clothespins, which will help you, um, you know, have the pages, leave the pages open so you can actually go ahead and do your journaling. So I like to make my journals artistic and full of lots of fun goodies and images and tuck spots and all of that, but I also like them to be functional for what their purpose is, which is of course for journaling. So uh, hopefully I give you the best of both worlds, I hope, uh, and I hope that you love this one. Okay, so here is the inside of the front cover. I have just uh, put some design paper here. It's just some um, Christmas uh, uh, music paper. I put a beautiful image here from Mrs. Coggs and then a little tiny lace pocket here. And for a lot of the pockets, I've just stuck these little postcards or maybe some flashcards in there just to uh, demonstrate for you guys that that is a pocket. You can obviously take these out, place whatever you want in the pockets, leave them, you know, don't put anything in them, or you can even journal on the backs of these if you wish. Okay, so here is the first page. And as you can see, I told you I went a little crazy in this journal with the lace and the trims and such. So they are uh, plentiful in this journal. I have this beautiful image here, which is from Mrs. Cog, a beautiful applique that I dunked in tea. I got that from Etsy. And then each of the pages have, almost all, not all of the pages, but several of the pages have Christmas quotes along the bottom that I gathered and compiled myself and, and went ahead and typed on the pages before tea dyeing them. All pages in this uh, journal, except for 
the book pages, which we'll get to as we flip through, are all tea dyed. Everything in this journal is tea dyed from the pages to the ledger paper, to the little tags that you'll see, uh, to the note cards. Um, they are index cards. They are all tea dyed. They are then baked in the oven and they are then ironed. So they kind of get that heat three different times. So all of the images are sewed onto the pages and they are all tuck spots, every single one of them. Um, because I just love little secret tuck spots. And again, just to demonstrate that they are pockets, I've just put little either flashcards or postcards or something in there so you know that it is a tuck spot. The little quote here at the bottom, and I won't read them all, but I will read this one. It says, like snowflakes, my Christmas memories gather and dance, each beautiful, unique, and gone too soon. And Deborah Whip said that, so... Loved that and had to include that in the journal. Have a little cluster of poinsettias. I know people say poinsettias or poinsettias. I don't know which is the correct way. I've always grow, grown up saying poinsettia, but I think it may be poinsettia. I don't really know. Okay, <laughs> anyway, moving on. All of the pages are also stenciled on. So there's various stencils throughout the journal. It's very light. I believe you can see it on camera, uh, but it is very subtle journaling. So I mean, stenciling rather. So you can journal over top of it, still keeping the design, but it's not going to interfere with any journal space. So these are just some blank, lots of spaces for journaling. Here's a little lace pocket, and I've just put a Mrs. Cog um, postcard in there. Here's some beautiful images from Mrs. Cog's shop. This is children's art. I have a tea dyed index card in this big pocket. And then on all of the index cards, there are smaller images that I have printed from Mrs. Cog's shop. And I've just stuck little, they're all tuck spots. So I've just stuck little um, postcards or um, uh, flashcards in those as well. So I love my tuck spots. So here's a really pretty little tree stencil. And then this is a beautiful image of everyone in their finest uh, in their finest Victorian uh, garments, um, having a lovely Christmas dinner. Loved that image. And so again, like all the images, it is a tuck spot. Here is just some design paper that I also tea dyed so that the other, the back side of it would also be that tea color and not a bright white. I have um, included this image here. I used some pink beautiful tull and also some canvas and then it's a little tuck spot and I have this really pretty tea dyed um, index card that I just slipped right in there and of course it's a tuck spot as well so this just slides right in here like so and you can put anything you wish in these pockets these are just little goodies that I've added as extras there's this is a little pocket as well along the bottom this is the inside of that, the back of that beautiful paper. This paper, by the way, just came from Michael's. It was a one of this year's Christmas packs. And I loved the pinky, the pink and uh, non-traditional Christmas colors that they used. And I thought it went really well with some of the beautiful Victorian ladies that I have throughout this journal. So here is the back side, and I've just done another little pocket. This is using floral ribbon. And then I just added some lace on top of that. So you can fit, obviously, whatever you want in this pocket. You can fit index cards. Um, here's a couple I haven't used in this particular journal. They will fit in there. You can definitely fit way more in these pockets than I have placed in there. This is one of the little few little images that I found. Um, like I said, almost every image is a Mrs. Cogs, but I think there's four in this one that, that are mine. Um, other than that, they're all Mrs. Cogs because you really don't need to find any extras. They're amazing. Here's um, just one of those little uh, paper clips I was telling you guys about. More room for journaling. Here's a beautiful image, and I'm going to actually turn this. It was large, so I couldn't fit it um, you know, uh, sideways, horizontally. So I just flipped it and put it vertically, sewed it down onto that page. Isn't that image absolutely stunning? This is from the Christmas Beauties set. And uh, it was just went perfectly with the theme of my journal. And I just absolutely love that image. And here's the little uh, index card that I placed inside this pocket. But as you can see, this is a huge tuck spot. Very generous. Look at all that room there. Can you guys see that? I'm not sure if the shadows might be too much to see, but it's a very generous pocket here and you can fit way more. The little quote on this page says, it is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. Here we have a little Edith Holden page. 
from an antique Edith Holden book that I have in my collection that I use solely for, for cutting up, putting in journals. Here's some ledger paper and then just more tea dyed papers. Beautiful little image here, tuck spot. Everyone around the Christmas tree. Oops, little foofy. There we go. Beautiful stenciling here. I loved this deer. I did get some new Christmas stencils this year. They were fun to work with. Another beautiful image, a beautiful pocket here. This is also that um, floral ribbon, which is how I make a lot of my pockets in my journals because they're just large enough to um, not overwhelm the page, but, um, but also hold substantial amounts of, of whatever you may want to tuck in there. This is the center of the first signature, and I just added some little postcards, I mean some flashcards rather here, and then in each little narrow pocket are these fun tags, which again have been tea dyed, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and um, I added some washi tape to all the various little tags. There are four signatures in this book, by the way, and there are 13 pages in each signature, so you get over 200 pages uh, to work with within the journal. Here is another of that floral ribbon with a awesome little advertisement for a motor car um, that I just stuck in there. Lots of little foofies. I thought I got all these out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Before I ship it, I'll make sure it's foofy free. All right, here's another sweet little image with a tuck spot, more journaling space. Here's that um, owl clip with the jingle bell, which actually does jingle, which I love more ledger paper. Here's another page from Edith Holden that has the berries and holly. Um, so I just loved that. There are Edith Holden pages in every uh, journal, all of the four journals, as well as Norman Rockwell book pages, which we'll get to you in just a moment. Here's a pocket that I made, again, using that beautiful pink sparkly uh, floral ribbon that I added some trim to. And I then I just sewed down the middle as well, so it kind of creates two separate pockets. And then I just added these two little tags um, with some washi tape and some of this fun tinsel ribbon at the top and just stuck them down in there. But again, you can put whatever you want in the pockets. Here's the back and another little lace pocket there. Some more sweet images. A Christmas all roads lead home. Here's another um, little pocket with some beautiful lace trim. And it has this uh, fun, um, this is one of those ads from 1903, I think it was, um, from Mrs. Cog's set. It's for a watch. So I just thought those were really fun. So I've just stuck those in a lot of the little pockets throughout the journal. And that is the, uh, the last page of the first signature. All right, here we are at the first page of the second signature, and I have this awesome trim here. Again, the other journals aren't as floofy and thick and crazy and fluffy. Um, so if that's your thing, this is probably the, the journal for you, uh, but I had a lot of fun making making this one. All of them, really. But So it has this fun um, trim. I think I got this trim at, I want to say, Joanne's. It's either Joanne's or Etsy. I can't remember which. Some of this stuff has just been in my stash for a while. So some really pretty images here. What are all tuck spots? Here's a little image that I've clipped in in two places and just done some of that pretty beadwork on the paper clips. Here's just a design paper here that's been tea dyed. Um, sometimes I put digi images directly on the paper before tea dyeing it. So that's what you see there. A little lace pocket down here. More images that are little tuck spots. A doily that's been tea dyed. Here is a um, lower, as, as you saw when I lifted the, the book up at the beginning of the video to show the, the beadwork and such, there are um, lots of little charms on the side. And this is a Tim Holtz one. It's a little charm that says joyful. And I, again, I'm calling this, this journal joy. So I try to keep within that theme for for some of my charms and such. This is one of the Norman Rockwell uh, pages for this particular journal, and it's just a beautiful um, Santa that he did with all the little elves working while Santa's snoozing there. And then on the back is a really cute little um, poem. 
So, and another illustration as well. And these came from a vintage Norman Rockwell book that I have in my stash. So I took the pages right out of my own personal book and um, placed them in the journal for you. So hope that you guys love that. Here's the center of the second signature which has some beautiful stenciling. I love the stencil down here with Santa and the reindeer and then some beautiful images, um, tuck spots here for um, these large note cards or whatever you wanna put in there. Another um, pocket with some beautiful lace. This, came, this lace came from Hobby Lobby. You can buy that by the yard there. Here's a beautiful Christmas tree um, charm that's attached to this little fabric tab and uh, an ornament that I've stenciled on this page. Here's more of that Norman from that Norman Rockwell book. So you have a illustration here and then you have a beautiful poem on either side. Lots more room for journaling. Some pretty gorgeous images all from Mrs. Cog and all our little tuck spots. Another little lace pocket down here at the bottom. Here's another image that I just um, printed on the paper before tea dyeing it. So it has a fun antique look to it. Another little pocket there. Some gorgeous images with some fun tea dyed index card in this one. A little tuck spot in that one. And then here we come to the end of the second signature. Here we are now at the beginning of the third signature. And I love this quote. It says, one of the most glorious messes in the world is the mess created in the living room on Christmas Day. I couldn't agree with that more. Um, I just have a little bit of this cute Santa belt ribbon running down this page here. And then this is a tuck spot, a large one. I can fit a full index card without having to fold it in any way right in this pocket. And you can fit more than one if you want. Lots of room for journaling. Here's a more uh, ledger paper. Cute little image here, standing on tippy toes to mail some holiday mail or a letter to Santa maybe. Cute, cute, cute. Little pocket here with a Santa image. This is a Jesse Wilcox Smith image from Mrs. Cox's shop. Here is another page from the Norman Rockwell book that I have. So I just took that out directly. There's a beautiful little poem here, an illustration, and then this full page illustration on this side. So I don't know, is that fitting in the camera? There we go. So those are just kind of little fun extras to have in your journal. You can clip things to them or just enjoy them as they are, whatever you'd like to do with them. Some beautiful images here with more tuck spots. Little pocket here. The little image and um, the images I print on 65 pound white cardstock, bright white cardstock. So you can journal on the back of any of these little cards that I've slipped in. You can use them for other projects and put different things in the pockets, uh, whatever you want to do. It's just sort of there to share the beautiful artwork as well as indicate that it's a pocket. But um, you really can, you know, do whatever you want with these images. Here's another fun little clipped image with some beadwork there at the top. Here's another um, little lace pocket. I just stuck a couple images in there. Here's that one tab that I showed you with the fun beadwork there with the candy bead. And that just, just turn the page like so. Here's a beautiful image here. Everyone dancing around the Christmas tree. Little lace pocket there pocket here. This is the center of the third signature. This is more a design paper from that pretty Michaels stack um, that I really loved the non-traditional colors. And then on the back I have another image on some tall and on some canvas and just kind of glued that down and then there's a little pocket down here. Another beautiful image. And again, sometimes I stuck images in the pocket, sometimes index cards, sometimes little postcards, just to let you know it's a pocket. Cute little lace pocket here. Some beautiful stenciling, which I hope is showing up on camera. It's very pretty. More images here. Cute, cute, cute. Here is another page from a Norman Rock Rockwell book. And this one is a Happy New Year illustration that he did. And then on the other side is just a cute sibling argument going on there. <laughs> 
can use your imagination, I guess, to figure out what they're arguing about, but love Norman Rockwell's work. Here's a really pretty um, stencil and little image up here that's a tuck spot, some more ledger paper, tons of space for journaling. And then here's this gorgeous image. This is one of my favorites from one of Mrs. Cog's sets. And it's here on the back of the third signature. And I placed just a little index card here. And as you've seen, as I've pulled out these index cards, they all have little tuck spots on them as well. And they also have either sari silk or a ribbon of some kind to decorate as well. Plus all the images are also sewed on to the index cards. So here we are at the beginning of the fourth signature. This is the last signature of the journal. I love this quote down here. It says, Christmas, my child, is love in action. Every time we love, every time we give, it's Christmas. And I just love that. And then here is a, um, a really cute little advertisement um, for some men's gloves and socks and such. So I just stuck that in the pocket. Lots of journaling room. Here is that candy cane um, uh, charm that I showed you earlier. It's right there on that little lace tab. And then here's another little image with another image inside of it. Doily, some design paper that's tea dyed. Little pocket here that's a little lace pocket. Beautiful images, again, little tuck spots. Stenciling, tons of places to journal. Another Edith Holden page. This one has mistletoe on the front and then this beautiful bird feeder on the back. Love these images from that book. I have to be honest with you guys. I bought another Edith Holden book that I could just have on my own that I wasn't gonna rip the pages out because I couldn't destroy a book and not have a copy for myself. <laughs> I know, is that bad? That's probably really bad, but um, I couldn't help it. I just love, love Edith Holden's um, artwork and her little notes and such. So, again, you can journal on the back of these images if you wish as well. Here's the center of the fourth signature. As you can see, there's a lot of little, um, um, what do you call these things? Um, little uh, threads, I can't think of the word right now, that, um, that hold the little tags. You can shorten these if you want to. You can cut them and make the little threads um, shorter if you want to. I just left them the size that they are. Uh, but as you can see, they're kind of long and um, they can add to some bulk. So if you want to cut them shorter, you can. I added some images to the pages before tea dyeing here at the bottom and then just put some flashcards from Mrs. Cog's shop, uh, sewed them onto the pages, and then we just have these little tags and postcards in here um, in these little pockets as well. Here is another pocket done with floral ribbon that I made into two separate pockets by just sewing down the middle. So you have two separate little pockets here. I just stuck some images in there. Here's a really cute little image of some kitty cats that have gotten into trouble under the Christmas tree. Uh, and we have some beadwork on those clips as well. And then just to quickly move on and finish here, we have some more lovely images. Um, here's that snowflake charm that I showed you a little bit at the beginning of the video. Here's a December page from Edith Holden. It has December and her notes from December on the front and then these beautiful birds on the back, a sparrow and a wren. And again, those came right out of my Edith Holden book. More pages, another pocket with beautiful floral ribbon, more gorgeous images with tuck spots, little lace pocket down here, more design paper, a doily that's tea dyed, another, um, little tuck spot there with a beautiful image, tons of room to journal. And then of course we have the back of the last signature, which is this gorgeous image here that again is a tuck spot. And this is one of those ads um, for a beautiful piano. And I just love looking at the ads. It's sort of like you can step back in time and you know see what the beautiful ladies are wearing and what the fashions were and what the most popular gifts were it's just so much fun and then finally i have this beautiful image on the back here uh, i've used the same design paper that i did on the front put a little lace pocket a little poinsettia flower there and uh and that's it so that is the book oops i just had a little paper clip shoot out here let's fix that really quick i think it came yeah right here um and then um 
that's about it guys I'm so happy that you guys came uh, to my channel and did watch this flip through with me as you can see the book does lay entirely flat and uh, as I was showing you before it is functional as a journal all you would do is when you get to kind of some of the back pages oops I just knocked over my container of clothes pins which of course stuff like that happens when you turn the camera on <laughs> but anyway you know you can use the clothes pins that I'm gonna send you free as just a little thank you gift to kind of help you keep the pages open so this will actually function as a journal as well as just being you know a fun pretty book to look through so I hope that you enjoyed this I definitely enjoyed making these. Remember, I will have three more coming, uh, three more that will be in my Etsy shop, and I'll do walkthrough videos for each of them. Uh, this is the froofiest, the frilliest, the one with the most trim and such, so that's your thing. Jump on this one. Um, I will have a link below to all of the digital images that I used from Mrs. Cog's shop. Also, don't forget, I've mentioned this in all of my other journal videos as well, but I would not be able to make these journals if it were not for Mrs. Cog's complete junk journal course that she has available on Etsy. And I have a code that is unique to my YouTube channel right now for 30% off that course. It's an excellent deal. It's an amazing course, and I will have that code for you down below in the description box of this video. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I've made hardcover journals in the past. Um, but with that course, once you take that course, you will know how to make journals. You will know how to make them of any size because you just simply do a little bit of math and you have, you know what you need to do to make your journals whatever sizes you want and whatever construction you want, be it soft cover or hard cover. So um, I cannot recommend the course enough. It has been amazing for me to be able to make these books. I never thought I'd be able to do anything like this. And I can because of that course. So I will have that link in the description box below along with the 30% off code. And just one more final look at this journal. This is my favorite. I'm a little sad to say goodbye to it, but I hope it just goes to a wonderful home. Thank you guys so much as always for stopping by. I love sharing my journals with you and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.